Hey everyone, welcome to the traffic projection tool, uh, Google Sheets template. Built this along with Ryan Stewart as part of our uh, Blueprint training. Uh, go and check that out at theblueprint.training if you haven't already. Lots of good stuff over there. Um, so basically what this template does is it pulls in SEMrush data and Google Analytics data and allows you to map out uh, three or four scenarios for how your organic traffic could grow over the next 12 months. Um, given different actions. So the first scenario is business as usual, not doing anything, um, anything different than you're already doing, I should say. Second scenario is kind of classic SEO, at, you know, going after on page and keywords are currently ranking for. Uh, and the third, you know, really gross scenario is going after the addressable market of competitor keywords. So keywords you're not ranking for, but could rank for. Um, what kind of new growth could you find there? So this is a Google Sheets template. It uses either the SEMrush API or manual SEMrush exports, and it uses uh, Supermetrics to pull in Google Analytics data. Um, and the end output is a Data Studio template that you know cleans up really nicely and you can share with clients if you're, if you're doing work on behalf of a client. So that's the, the traffic projection tool. Now let's, uh, let's dive into the basic setup of how to get this going. So to get that going in Data Studio, first we'll need to copy the Google Sheets template, um, and we'll use this to get all of the raw data together from Google Analytics and SEMrush to make those projections. Um, so you'll want to start off on the Getting Started tab. Uh, this will walk you through step by step all these instructions, um, and I'll just go quickly through what's on the Getting Started tab so you know how to set this up. Um, so the first thing we'll need to do is pull in Google Analytics organic uh, traffic data. We'll do that using the Supermetrics add-on. Um, if you don't have it already installed, there's a free version that allows you to pull Google Analytics data. Um, so you can just Google like Supermetrics add-on and install it uh, for your domain. So once you have that installed, you can go to Supermetrics launch sidebar um, and it'll open this sidebar experience. If you go to the GA organic traffic tab and you hover on these green columns, so it has the month, the sessions, and the your rear change. Uh, the query will pop up in the sidebar. All you need to do is click modify, select your site here, apply changes, and it'll pull your data in. What pulling that data allows us to do is to project, to, to look back over the last quarter and say, what was your quarterly, your year over year growth for the last quarter? And we're basically going to run that growth trajectory forward for the next 12 months. And we're going to say, okay, what, what was your traffic this year seasonally? what will it be next year based on that growth rate? And that allows to project your kind of business as usual, no change growth rate and traffic. So let's move on to the next step. We won't need Supermetrics anymore. Um, for the existing keyword scenario, we need to set a few assumptions. Um, one, you need to put in what's your site name, what's it called, what's your domain. And lastly, by what percentage over 12 months do you think that you can increase your your keyword rankings. This will apply across all keywords that you're currently ranking for. Uh, generally, we go with 50% as a as a default improvement uh, because if you're if you're actually setting out to improve this, usually you can make some make some changes that'll in, increase your rankings for pages you're already ranking for. Um, that's just an assumption, right? Just set that and and move on. Uh, third step is for new keywords, we'll we'll pick out a few competitors. Um, this might take some, you know, guess and check, some some playing around with and going back to. Uh, if you don't like the way the data looks, or if you don't think your competitors are realistic, uh, I settled at three, and you know, kind of coincidentally, these are all like people I know um, or correspond with in some way. So, Ben Collins. Then for my blog coding is for losers. Um, ben Collins, Avinash Kashik, and Jeff Sauer over at Jeffalytics. Um, they just all have kind of similar content. They're all personal blogs, right? They blog about data and analytics. So and Google Sheets and stuff like that. Uh, so again, that's just setting the domains. Um, we want the naked root domain, not no www or HTTPS. Um, and so now in steps four, five, and six, we get into actually pulling the SEMrush data. Um, so there's two ways you can pull this. You can either uh, just pull it manually by going to SEMrush, their dashboard, and pulling the organic research reports for these Four domains, both your own and your competitors, um, or you can use the API, and the sheet has, you know, an API connection built in, 
where we can pull data from SEMrush. Um, so we'll use the manual pull just because I'm guessing most of you will do that. But if you are going to use the API, you just enter your API key here and then you'll skip to step six, which allows you to pull data from the API using this menu button. Um, but if you're doing the manual export, you'll use step five, which basically says go into, go into SEMrush, go to the organic research report and pull an organic research report and export for um, both your domain where you, you'll want to pull out all keywords and export a CSV as well as your competitor domains where it's probably okay to just look at a thousand keywords, the first thousand, um, because, you know, again, this, you're going to want to make sure these keywords are actually relevant. So if you have to sift through 9,000 keywords instead of 3,000, you're more likely to have a lot of fat in there. So I just look at the highest quality, highest, you know, potential keywords from your competitors. Uh, so once you have those exports, you'll want to pull in, and this is all in the instructions, right? I don't need to, to beat this up totally, but you'll, you'll import your own export for your own site into this SEMrush keywords tab, and then you'll import one after another, um, your three competitors into the competitor keywords tab. And the way you can do that is file import. Um, let's see, you pick the file. I'm not going to go through this, but then you'll just say append, append to current data. So you run one, append it, run the second, run the third. Just make sure you don't overwrite it with your competitors because you want to have all three in the same sheet. Um, so that's pulling all the data in. Basically what happens at that point is a bunch of math on the back end on your behalf. Pull in your business as usual scenario from Google Analytics. All the dates will automatically be um, pulled based on when you're running this. Uh, it will use your, SE, your own SEMrush keywords to map out and your improvement percentage to map out potential new traffic um, and the total traffic based on those additions. Uh, it, it'll take your business as usual plus your existing keyword growth. And then same thing for new competitor keywords. Basically, uh, it'll pull in all of these keywords. And again, you might want to, this is in the instructions, but you'll probably want to go in and clean these up, right? Like, I don't think, you know, for Ben Collins as a competitor, I'm not going to rank for Ben Collins. I'm not, I'm not, I could rank for how to use Google Sheets, Google Sheets, Histogram, stuff like this. Bottom line there being that you want to check your competitor data, um, whether it's through the export or through the, uh, through the API. Um, you want to check that data for relevancy and d delete any rows, whether it's by just, you know, deleting the data or deleting the actual row uh, that aren't relevant for you. And if you find that the com a lot of uh, keywords for that competitor aren't relevant, then maybe they aren't a good competitor comp. So now's a good time to check that and add in any additional competitors that, that are more relevant for your, your site. So that's... Um, scenario three and basically what this will do is map out you know the kind of total addressable market for those competitors based on you know an assumed click-through rate matrix which we you know link to at the top of the getting started tab uh, sorry to scroll so fast but up here um, so basically traffic is click-through rate times search volume for those keywords so that's pretty much everything that's happening in the sheet uh, the last step here is you'll want to, and this is, sorry to scroll so fast again, um, this is step seven, you want to copy the Google Sheets, the Google Data Studio data source, copy the template using that data source, and then you'll have a template uh, pretty much exactly like this one. Oh, I can tell you exactly like this one. <laughs> so it'll have a summary uh, of these four scenarios. It will summarize your growth rate and actual projected traffic uh, for business as usual. Same thing for if you do basic SEO, which will likely not make a huge difference on traffic, but definitely noticeable. Um, the addressable market in terms of traffic for your three competitors that you picked out. Again, this is probably going to be a higher growth rate because you're basically looking at you know, what could I do? <laughs> I could basically like triple the traffic on my site for my, for my own own site where my competitors are about the same size as mine. 
Um, and then again, comparing these four scenarios side by side so you can see what, you know, what your potential paths are each month. So that's, the, uh, that's it for the Data Studio uh, report. It's really simple, really nice and clean for sharing uh, with clients at the outside of a campaign or if you're using this as part of a sales process to map out uh, what could happen with the site's traffic. I hope you enjoy the template. Um, like I said, this is part of the Blueprint training program for SEO agencies that Ryan and I have launched. Uh, it includes all the templates, standard operating procedures and tools. Everything that we've built is kind of packaged up, put a bow on it on this nice one platform. Uh, and we'll be releasing lots of tools and templates, uh, free templates like this one in the coming months. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, there's links to the Blueprint training and to contact us if you have questions on the traffic projection tool in both uh, the Data Studio and the Google Sheets templates. So hope you guys enjoy this one and take care.